people can feel the improvements of our CN from past years. With the lowering of the tariff gate, seminars have been in progress to discuss the future integration of our CN, set to be fully integrated by the year 2015. RCN TV's Veronica Taylor reports. Mr. Wirasat Kosurat, Executive Director of the International Institute for Trade and Development of Thailand, explains the reasons for limited knowledge of ASEAN by the local people. The problem in the last few years tends to be the relationships between technocrats at the government level, which meet on a daily basis. After these technocrats meet with ASEAN members, upon returning to their respective countries, do not have enough skills to explain or articulate to their people what is happening in regards to ASEAN and how this will affect their day-to-day -day life. For the most part, local Thais and the neighboring countries do not acknowledge and are not well prepared to become integrated into ASEAN. Except for business people, many if not most do realize that ASEAN integration will mean something to them and only a handful make use of the integration. Mr. Wirasak explains the low use of ASEAN networking and benefits in Thailand. Some of the figures shows in the last two, three years that at least from the Thai perspective, uh, Thai business people has only been used the, uh, the tariff uh, privilege of being ASEAN members only 29%, uh, less than 30%. While in other countries, the business people has made use of these uh, uh, tariffs uh, in the ASEAN tariff uh, in a much higher uh, uh, percentage. For local people to become aware, there will be a need for good articulate people to explain the technical benefits within ASEAN that local and business people in the community can make use of by integrating. Mr. Wirasak suggests that at the government level, every single industry and department should have a designated Mr. or Mrs. ASEAN, so that he or she can follow and report all movements made by ASEAN to their department. This will ensure each department integration and involvement in ASEAN. At the community level, it is essential to try and identify the local people representing each community who understand ASEAN and its future goals. These local people would then use their local media network to explain to the community ASEAN's intentions along with the benefits of integrating into ASEAN. Some benefits of ASEAN have been demonstrated through the shift from border trade to international trade. At the moment, Thailand has an advantage because it is located at the heart of connectivity between other countries and has been the hub of road linkage. Laos will also become part of the rail linkage center of ASEAN. However, there is a significant language barrier within ASEAN. Some parts of ASEAN, such as Indonesia, Malaysia, Singapore, and Brunei, use Bahasa, but even then, each country uses different tones of Bahasa. The style of communication needs to be improved to understand the real benefits of ASEAN integration. This is Veronica Taylor of Thai News Agency reporting for ASEAN TV.